Hey, I'm John, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to swap out the Bowden tube on the longer LK5 Pro 3D printer. This process should be pretty similar for most FDM 3D printers, but your mileage may vary, so watch the video, look at your machine, and make sure that if you're not using the longer LK5 Pro, that this process will still work for you. All right. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to go ahead and unload the filament if you've got any filament in your printer. After you've unloaded the filament, go to your settings and your nozzle temperature and turn that thing up as high as it will go. For the longer LK5 Pro, that's about 250 degrees Celsius. The first step of the replacement is to remove the old Bowden tube. By default, the longer comes with the electronic cables and the Bowden tube zip tied together. We're going to need to separate those by removing those zip ties. Once you've got the Bowden tube free, you can remove the cover so that we have better access to the fitting that connects the Bowden tube into the heat block. While you watch a time lapse of me removing this cover, now's a great time if you're enjoying my content to show your support by liking this video throwing me subscribe, and going ahead and hitting that little bell so you get notifications when I post another video. Then just pop the cover off, and now we can look at removing the Bowden tube from the hot end. You'll notice that on the Bowden tube connector, there's a little blue piece. That is basically just a clip that keeps the Bowden tube connector from going down and releasing the Bowden tube during print. You can go ahead and remove that because you're gonna need to take the Bowden tube out of the connector. This part might not be entirely necessary, but I found it easier to remove the Bowden tube from the connector by removing the connector from the hot end because my Bowden tube was really just sealed in there and I couldn't, I wasn't able to easily compress that little plastic piece on the connector and slide the Bowden tube out. So to take the connector out, you just use the wrench that came with the printer and you just need to kind of get in there and go a little slow because those wires are kind of in the way, but you just remove it. It's easy, just tedious. Look at that Bowden tube all burnt up and crispy. You'll also want to remove the Bowden tube from the extruder. It's really easy. You just take off the connector like you did just before and then compress that little gray piece and pull the Bowden tube right out. I got my Bowden tube replacement set from G-Tech on Amazon, it was like 10 bucks. Uh, it comes with one meter of tubing, a couple different sizes of connectors, one for your extruder, and then two different sizes for your hot end, depending on what size hot end you have. And then it also comes with a cutter. I selected this kit for a few different reasons. The main reason was because the PTFE tube is clear, and I think that's really cool. It's going to be so awesome to see the filament come through the tube and go into the hot end. And yeah, that's probably a little nerdy, but I just think it's cool. The other reason I picked this kit is because it came with a cutter. The cutter helps you cut the Bowden tube without compressing the end of the Bowden tube, which is what would happen if you use scissors or something else and weren't extremely careful. And it's important to have that not get bent because if it bends, then you'll have problems when it's trying to run filament through it. I'll have links in the description for all the parts, products, and tools that I used in this video. And you can go down there and check those out if you'd like. The replacement tube that came with the kit is way too long for what I need. So to measure it out, I just took the old Bowden tube, lined it up against the new tube, and that's how I measured where I needed to cut. The cool thing is that there was so much extra tube that I've got a whole nother replacements worth of tubing left over, so I'm going to save that for the next time I need it. Then you just take the tube, put it in that cutter, and snip it. 
Oh yeah, look how smooth that cut is. If you're reusing your connectors or you're saving your connectors, removing the Bowden tube's actually pretty easy. The little plastic piece, it's usually gray or black, it compresses in and you push it in and then you just slide the Bowden tube right out. It should make a clicking sound when you press it in as well. And it's really just as simple as that. Now you're ready to reassemble everything with a fresh new Bowden tube. Basically what you're gonna do is everything that you just did, but in reverse. So go ahead and put the connector back into the hot end. Put the connector back on the extruder and push the Bowden tube back into each of the connectors. When you put the Bowden tube back into the hot end, you wanna make sure that the hot end is at the highest temperature possible. You also wanna make sure that you push that tube as far down to the nozzle as you can so that there's no extra space between the Bowden tube and the nozzle. And then you're going to reattach the wiring harness to the Bowden tube with zip ties. Now the longer LK5 Pro came with some spare zip ties and those are the ones I used, but they're not special zip ties, they're just zip ties. So you can use any zip ties that you'd like. Go ahead and reapply your clips to the connectors to ensure that your Bowden tube doesn't slip out and then load some filament and geek out because you can see it coming down the Bowden tube, which is so, so cool. If your testing goes well, put your cover back on and happy printing. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get alerted when I post another video. Like this video and leave a comment below about what you'd like to see me do next. As always, I included links to all the parts and tools that I used in this replacement video in the description below. Until next time.